Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'm Leslie Draffin. I am the evening news anchor here at KCEN Channel 6, and it's Tuesday, which means another edition of Beauty Tip Tuesday. So this week, we're talking about sweat-proof makeup. Summer is around the corner. Here in Texas, it is already hot. And if you're like me, you want to know how to look your best even when you're outside and it's muggy and nasty and sweaty and, you know, ugh, just gross. So I headed to Sephora to talk with beauty manager Jennifer about all the ways we can make our skin and our makeup look great even on the hottest of summer days. Guys, these are amazing tips. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. But before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification bell so you never miss a Beauty Tip Tuesday. Oh, and hit me up on social media too. You can follow me behind the scenes in my news life as well as my life off camera, hint, there's a lot of pictures of dogs, my two dogs, who are the greatest. So if you want all of that and you want to correspond with me that way, please find me on social media. All right, let's get into the video. Well, look, we were actually, we actually... If you are combination oily to oily, you definitely want to go, want to going to want to go mattifying. There are a lot of mattifying primers on the market. I'm a big fan of the Cover FX mattifying primer. Typically folks who have oilier skin also tend to be acne prone. So this is gonna mattify the skin without making it overly dry um, or making it look chalky. And then this has salicylic acid, which is going to help fight acne. For combination dry to dry skin, you're gonna wanna go with a primer riser. So this is a hybrid primer and moisturizer. Um, these are gonna soak into the skin, so it's not adding an additional layer. When we go sweat proof, we want to eliminate as many layers of things on our face as possible to help keep us cool and eliminate shifting and all of those interesting things our skin can do when it is hot. Um, so the Marc Jacobs, um, primerizer is going to really hydrate the skin. It has hyaluronic acid and then has coconut water and it's going to penetrate the skin deeply and not give us that extra layer. So that can be foundation, that can be BB cream, that can be just concealer, whatever it is that you want to do with your skin. Um, but we want to keep it on the lighter side. So maybe a no makeup makeup look. Um, I have on today the Dr. Jart Beauty Balm. Um, this is their premium beauty balm, and I chose this one specifically because it has SPF 45, because it's going to protect us from the sun. It has flexible pigment, so you don't have to sit and take three hours to find the right shade. Um, and then it has anti-aging serums and hydrators in it, so it's going to protect our skin from the sun, it's going to enrich our skin while we're wearing it, and it's going to give us a super light cover that won't um, fall apart the second the sun hits us. To top that, pretty much everyone, be they dry or oily, are going to need a powder. Um, with summer on the way and the sun out and beaming down on us, you're gonna wanna have something with SPF. Um, I know before we've said SPF lasts for only two hours. Um, and so this will help you be able to reapply without um, disturbing your makeup. Um, this is a mineral matte um, setting powder comes in a handy little tube that you can throw in your purse and it is SPF 45. It's super lightweight um, and it's not too drying so it's great for kind of reapplying throughout the day. Setting spray. This setting spray in particular is a favorite especially for the summer. Um, Urban Decay All Nighter, they are the first to give us setting sprays, I think, on the market, and they are still the best. They use Scandinavia technology that actually brings down the temperature of the face. Um, so when you mist it, you're gonna feel cool. That's pretty typical of every um, setting spray, but throughout the day, you can reach up and touch and your skin actually feels cooler. And that's gonna eliminate oil production and sweat, which are our biggest things we're gonna be fighting this summer. You'll prime with a primer that is appropriate for your skin type, which anybody can help you find. You're gonna cover with a concealer, a BB cream, whatever it is that you prefer. And then you're gonna finish with a powder or some, sort, some form of SPF. And then you're gonna lock it all in with a setting spray. Okay guys, I don't know about you, but I feel so much more prepared for summer now. All those tips, all of that great advice, 
I'm ready to put it into place and uh, have some epic looking makeup all summer long. If you have ideas, if you have questions, put them in the comment section below. You can also follow me on social media and correspond with me that way. Next week, we are talking a little bit more about summer beauty trends. What kind of makeup will you be seeing all around this year? Hint, it's bright really bright. So stay tuned for that. That's next week on Beauty Tip Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a beautiful week.